what's really important, it seems to me, in, in talking about this to members of the public and, and sometimes politicians, is that this isn't always rocket science. The details are very complicated models, but the basic physics of energy flow is 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 pretty is pretty straightforward. That's exactly and, right. And what's surprising is that it works. I mean, maybe not surprising, but when when you see that these basic this basic physics predictions work, there's good reason to trust them. So yeah, I mean, the basic idea of climate change has been around for a hundred years. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not... just the energy in, energy out. It's it's not it's not much different. I mean, no, absolutely not. And indeed, you know, people sometimes forget our neighboring planet Venus, yeah. right, which is very similar to the Earth in yeah. size. And is about 460 degrees Celsius on its surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Right? And and uh, super hot. Why? It turns out most people think because it's closer to the sun, yeah. and it's true. Venus gets about twice as much solar energy as the Earth does because yeah. it is closer yeah. to the yeah. sun. But because it's so bright and reflective on the surface, uh -huh. if Venus had the same atmosphere as the Earth, uh -huh. it would be substantially colder than the Earth, Int which is interesting. It is interesting. The reason it. Venus is so hot, you know, it's. Mm -hmm. You know, 460 Celsius, it's pretty incredible yeah. hot. It's because it has an atmosphere almost 100 times thicker than the Earth, and 97% of that atmosphere is carbon dioxide. Yeah, okay. So, so you know, the, the greenhouse effect as a, as, a, as a phenomenon is really not in question. And, and it was relevant at the early history of the Earth. The Earth would have been, I mean, the sun has been getting it, it, brighter. It was 15% less bright in the early history of the Earth. Star and, and, and so we should have been frozen except the carbon. And then there was a greenhouse uh, effect that preserved liquid water on the earth in the early history of the earth. The carbon dioxide density was something like 10,000 times what it is now in the very earliest moments of the earth or something. Pro probably not that thick, but, and there may have been some additional gases yeah. as well, but here's the, but, but the general idea is there's actually a remarkable chemical reaction. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so there's a chemical reaction between carbon dioxide, water, which makes carbonic acid yes. and then rock. Yes. And that reaction, igneous rock, volcanic yeah. rock, and that reaction yields, essentially it's an acid-base reaction. Mm -hmm. So carbonic acid is an acid mm -hmm. and it reacts with the igneous rock and basically makes calcium carbonate or Store, chalk or limestone. Stores the carbon. And so essentially that chemical reaction takes carbon dioxide out of the air and converts it to limestone on the ocean floor. Yes. What's amazing about that, so that reaction, because that reaction is temperature dependent, mm -hmm. that becomes a thermostat. Yeah. So when the earth gets too hot, that reaction speeds up uh -huh. and CO2 is drawn down. And when that reaction goes too slowly, volcanoes naturally Produce. trick. Now remember, volcanoes are only putting out about 1% of what we're burning from fossil fuels. So it's not like volcanoes are a danger, yeah. but they're doing it all the time. Mm -hmm. And the CO2 coming out of volcanoes is balanced by what is going back down as calcium carbonate. It's this remarkable And so it's this incredible cycle. Until life evolved. But now, yeah. now, what we're... What we're doing to it is really extraordinary. Yeah, um, we are perturbing it by a factor of a hundred. Yeah, that's important. I think that you know when people now, say the Earth will take care of it, right? Again, yeah. this, these chemical weathering reactions, this reaction between water and rock and and CO two, will happen, and will take care of our problem. Yeah, but but on geological, but it will take about a hundred to two hundred thousand years. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's just not fast enough. If, if yeah. <laughs>